is a gray, gloomy, stormy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in the Sunshine State. Yeah, right. Uh, it is Friday, March, I don't know, 12th maybe, somewhere 11th, I believe, 2022 here in the Point Lonesome Swamp where tonight the low is 69 degrees. Tomorrow, the low is 29 degrees. Good Lord, after being in the 90s in February, back down to the 20s in the middle of March, uh, as weather whiplash continues, but uh, you can find stories of the new, whatever they're calling this latest uh, bomb cycle or whatever elsewhere, but it is since it is Friday, I did say it was Friday, right? We're going to do what we do every Friday, and that is our ecological meltdown roundup rant, where we go over to Manga Bay uh, and see what's on the minds of Rhett Butler and the boys and girls as they bring us their weekly cavalcade of catastrophe. A cavalcade of catastrophe with... Uh, I got to say, we got some pretty serious hopium. Uh, I noticed that Manga Bay seems a little more apocalyptic in 2022. I've noticed. Am I the only one picking this up? Starting with this story right here in, uh, yes, in Indonesia, in a national park plagued by encroachers, Indonesia tries a new approach. Yes, take a wild guess what the approach is. For years, people have settled illegally inside national parks around Indonesia, clearing the land and farming it in the, in the hope they will eventually be granted legal title to it. While the authorities' default response has been to evict the people invading the national parks, clearing the land. Wow, a new government program is taking a more collaborative approach. Yes, that aims to be a win-win for both the parks and the people. Where is the win? They, they have a picture of an orangutan here. How is this orangutan winning this? Under the Conservation Partnership Program, the settlers, the illegal settlers, moving in to these national parks acknowledge that they cannot lay claim to the land and they must work to restore ecosystems that they've damaged. But in turn, they are allowed to remain inside the national parks and cultivate traditional crops. Yes, but they will not be allowed to grow rubber and palm oil. That really sounds like a win-win situation. So when you... Uh, you know, guys, a, a, a partnership, a win, anyway, please. All right. We have a new global cradle to grave plastics treaty. All right. 175 countries agreed last week on a UN framework to fight global plastic pollution from cradle to grave. Yes. Uh, so now we just have to finish out, figure out what that means. So maybe by the end of 2024, they will figure out what that means. Yes. Uh, another UN treaty. There we go. Okay, this, this is just Hopium Central here, talking about restoring Brazil's Atlantic forest. Restoration initiatives are slowly making a mark on the Atlantic forest 
a Brazilian biome that has been reduced to about a quarter of its original size. Yes. Uh, good luck on that. Uh, here we're going over to Nigeria looking at a global wildlife trafficking hub in Nigeria. Do you think so? You do not, you will not believe that an investigation has found evidence of systemic, systematic failure and systemic failure, I'm sure, by Nigerian law enforcement and the Nigerian judicial system to hold wildlife poachers and traffickers accountable. Wow, who would have thought? Uh, okay. How many people since, despite the numerous high-profile, multi-million dollar trafficking busts at Nigeria's port in the last 12 years, how many people busted for wildlife trafficking in Nigeria have spent a night in jail? If your answer is zero, zero, uh, give yourself a gold star. All right, but we have, now this is uh, obviously uh, for tomorrow's hopium rant. We're going to come back to the, uh, to the written story in a minute. But you know, Manga Bay has, uh, has a YouTube channel. They're going full tilt hopium, apocalyptimism. Can we save coral reefs? Problem solved. So there you go. Well, I guess it is problem solved, Rhett. Uh, there's their little uh, YouTube uh, thing. Problem solved. The last reefs. There you go. Well, I guess when the last coral reef uh, bleaches or crumbles, I guess the problem of dying coral reefs will be solved when the last coral reef dies. Problem solved! There you go! You can't say the coral reefs are dying because the last reef just died. Problem solved! Man, we can use, we can be solving all kinds of problems, guys. Good Lord, I mean, we can solve the problem. I mean, every time, you know, let's say when elephants go extinct, we, we can say, well, there you go. We just solved that problem. There will be no more elephant poaching on this planet. Problem solved. The last elephants. Uh, police. Rhett, I, I'm going to I'm going to have to write let, Rhett a letter. I honestly don't know if Rhett Butler has any idea that I have been doing uh, th this rant every week for the past 10 years. If Rhett is... Uh, aware of this. Uh, and I've interviewed the guy. I've, I've interviewed Rhett. I've interviewed Jeremy Hance. I've interviewed about half of the board members. I've written for Manga Bay, for God's sake. I have no clue if Rhett Butler knows. Uh, anyway, he'd probably ask me to stop. All right. Uh, good Lord. The wildlife tourism in Thailand. Oh, good Lord, I can only, uh, I, I love it, the fuck it zoo. I love that. I, I wish I lived in fuck it Thailand, uh, j just so I could uh, go around saying, I, I, I just live in fuck it. The fuck it zoo in Thailand. There you go. Oh, Jesus. All right. Do you believe there's palm oil investment going on in West and Central Africa? Yes. Uh, all right, well, we do have some good news. Uh, that 
looking into Africa, a new report says uh, most of the deals, where a lot of the deals have failed with 27 representing over 3 million acres of land have been outright abandoned. So, uh, so even the, uh, even the palm oil uh, planet eaters, uh, not crazy after going and doing business in sub-Saharan Africa for a couple of years, they're saying uh, this might not be. Anyway, we will move on. Uh, there is a lot here. Uh, gee, we have corruption in Indonesia. Yes. Uh, all right. The uh, the former fisheries editor, editor, uh, minister, uh, just had his prison sentence cut from nine to five years. Yes. The judges praised his good work. All right. Are nature-based solutions the best fix for climate change? Well, if we can find a natural way to make humans go extinct, I guess. I, I, I love this. So uh, they're talking, they're discussing mangrove restoration to fix climate change. The, the, the number one, my guess is mangroves are the number one most imperiled uh, ecosystem on the planet by climate change. So is mangrove restoration, uh, you, you know, there, there's some, there, there, there's, there's got to be some sort of connection between mangrove restoration to fix climate change as there is to the last coral reef solving the problem of dying coral reefs, but I'm just not sure what it is. Anyway, but we're going to move on. Um, there's more of this de debate about the definition of legal deforestation. You know, how many years is Manga Bay going to be going about the, the definition? It, it, deforestation is deforestation. I'm with, I think it's Philip Fernside uh, who, you know, has basically said uh, the, the way that uh, Brazil is, is going to stop illegal deforestation is just calling all deforestation legal and then you have no uh, net, then so you, you have your net zero illegal deforestation. How many times can we say it? There's no difference. Uh, all right, for all of you uh, with a cat to feed, study finds major cat food brands selling cat food containing protected sharks. 16 different cat food brands were found to have contained threatened species of, star, of sharks, including Fancy Feast, Whiskas, and Sheba. None of the products were ac accurately labeled to show they contained sharks. Global shark populations are in sharp decline. Yes, and now your cat food. Uh, forget about the songbirds. Your cat is eating a shark. Here we go. The isolated tapers of the Atlantic forest face an uncertain future. I, I, I see nothing uncertain about the future. So we just heard, when was it, five minutes ago about how they're saving the uh, Atlantic forest, and now we read uh, lowland tapers today occupy less than 2%, 2% of their historic range in the Atlantic uh, forest. 
Uh, and the biggest threat to the species today is being run over by cars. Uh, but <clears throat> authorities maintain some optimism. Yes. There you go. Gee, who would have thought that climate change is set to upend global fishery agreements? Yeah, I guess when the global fishery is upended, the agreements get upended along with them. Um, up to a quarter of fish on this planet will be moving in the next eight years. Uh, as long as they can, get out there and move to a cooler ocean while you still can. Uh, wow, here's, here's one. Uh, this is a real, this is for the college educated uh, uh, readers this week, I guess. Indonesian fishing boat found with banned trawl net highlights enforcement challenges. Yes. Uh, the boat's captain denied that the net was ever used for fishing. Okay. You, you, you're out there on the ocean, you're some sort of cop, and there's a fishing boat out there, and you go on the boat, and there's a big illegal trawling net, and the captain of the boat says, well, well, guys, this net wasn't used for fishing. I, you know, so what would the trawling net on an Indonesian fishing boat out in the middle of the ocean, maybe maybe what they're doing is scooping up all of that plastic. Uh, that's what they're doing. They're out there uh, saving the planet from uh, marine plastic with that trawling net. Okay, take a wild guess where the gold used in Italian wedding rings is coming from. Uh, can you say the Amazon rainforest. Anyway, guys, okay. An Indonesian program's promise of food security backfires. There you go. Indonesia's food estate program build as improving domestic food availability has in fact had the opposite effect on farmers. Yes, uh, research shows that farmers in North Sumatra saw their rice harvest decline by up to 80 uh, percent. And they were forced to plant other crops, I guess, in rice paddies, and then you will not believe that the other crops, such as potatoes and garlic, were not enough to make up for the loss of their rice harvest. Uh, anyway, uh, what a surprise. Okay, now uh, when you're shopping for your next electric vehicle. It could be from Mount Everest. Chinese lithium find in the Himalayas raises concerns. All right, Chinese scientists claim to have found a quote, super large, a super large deposit of lithium near Mount Everest. Yes, the prospect of mining them raises concerns about the impact on water sources. Yeah, so we now have Mount Everest turning into a lithium mine so we can save the planet from fossil fuels. Yes. Uh, 
Gee. To deal with climate change and biodiversity loss effectively and equitably, conservation needs to adopt a human rights-based approach. There you go. Let's see. To deal with biodiversity loss, we need to adopt a human rights-based approach. Yes. There you go. Well, Sancho, it's a good thing you don't live, you don't live in Indonesia. Campaigners against dog meat trade take on one Indonesian city at a time. 7% of Indonesia's 270 million people eat dog meat. All right, dog meat free Indonesia is campaigning city by city to get authorities to crack down on the trade. Yes. There you go, little dog. You could be living in Indonesia. I think we already had this story recently. In destroying the Amazon, Big Ag is torching its own viability. Yes, this is looking at the transition zone between the Amazon and the Cerrado has heated up significantly and become drier in the past two decades. Meaning, guess what? The Because of the deforestation to raise more crops, they're not able to raise as many crops. See, we've already heard that story. Good Lord. Uh, anyway, guys, there is a lot. Uh, uh, what was I just saying about uh, uh, one way to solve elephant poaching? Well, you know, kind of like with those coral reefs, the, the best way for problems solved on elephant-human conflict is just have the humans kill all the elephants. Well, or have all the elephants kill all the humans. Uh, problem solved. Uh, the elephants would just kill all the humans. That would be problem solved. Okay? Elephants kill all the humans problem solved. So let's go over there to Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, elephants are now restricted to just 14% of their former range. 86% of elephant habitat has already and this is probably the vast, vast majority of this in the last 50 years. Uh, so 86% of elephant habitat uh, has gone to humans. Uh, the population of Sub-Saharan Africa is supposed to triple to quadruple in the 21st century. Okay, in the, let, let's say in the 20th century, 86% has disappeared. In the last century, now we're going to have three times as many people. How many elephants are going to be left in the remaining 14%? Problem solved. No more elephant-human. There will be no more elephant-human uh, contact in a few years because there will be no more elephants. All right. As rising seas destroys Ghana's coast, researchers warn against a seawall-only solution. There you go. 37% of Ghana's coastal land has gone 
uh, has, has lost to erosion and flooding between 2005 and 2017. Yep, yep, yep. So build a wall. All right. What is going on in El Salvador? I think El Salvador is about the size of the county that I live in here in Florida. El Salvador declares rare red alert uh, amid surge in forest fires. In the first two months of this year, there were more than 20 forest fires in protected areas across El Salvador often in places that are not usually threatened. Yes, uh, I didn't realize there were any protected areas in El Salvador. Uh, you will not believe, guys, this is why I, I depend you know, so much on Rhett. I, I know I give Rhett Butler uh, a hard time for being an apocalyptic, but this is why I need Rhett to tell me this, that I never would have figured uh, th th this out on my own. Half-hearted prosecution lets ivory trackers escape in Uganda. More than three years since Ugandan authorities seized a shipment of nearly four tons of elephant ivory, not to mention a bunch of pangolins, no one, not one person has been prosecuted. What did we just say about Nigeria? Not one person gone, gone to jail in Nigeria. What a surprise. Okay, this is a story about interactions between chemicals called synergetics. Microplastics plus organic pollutants equals 10 times the toxicity. A new study has found that interactions between microplastics and organic pollutants in aquatic environments can increase the toxicity of the microplastics by a factor of 10. Yep, yep, yep. And this problem is, no one is talking about this problem. Uh, okay, here is the story going on with the can we save coral reefs problem solved. Since the 1950s, the world has lost half of its coral reef ecosystems. I know it's a lot more than that. And now the IPCC predicts that with one and a half degrees of warming, we could lose up to 90% of the world's coral reefs. And this amount of warning, warming could happen in as little as six years. But experts say there is still time to save coral reefs, but it will require swiftly addressing the three largest impacts to coral reefs. Land-based pollution, we can fix that in six years. Overfishing, we can fix that in six years. And most importantly, climate change. I don't see any reason we can't fix that in six years. All right. Well, take a wild guess. Who are the usual suspects as Papua, we call that New Guinea, deforestation persist? How about palm oil and pulp wood? Indonesia's Papua region lost a forest area the size of Manhattan last year with much of the deforestation attributed to pulp wood and palm oil. Yes. One observer says this continued loss of forest highlights the disconnect yes, between the Indonesian government's rhetoric 
about tackling deforestation and what it actually allows to happen on the ground. Anyway, guys, I could go on with this, but uh, I realize I'm probably talking to myself. It has been a long, hard day. We have another monsoon blowing in, and I need a margarita, and the little dog needs... Uh, are you going to eat an endangered shark? What kind of endangered species am I going to be feeding you for dinner? Anyway, get out there and uh, enjoy your dog meat while you still can. Gulp. Yes. Bye, guys.